Whitehall contingency planners are preparing for the worst as they plan to move the royal family to safe locations away from the capital in the event of a no-deal rebellion, according to the Mail on Sunday. A secret operation has been revived by officials in the Civil Contingencies Secretariat from the Cold War era in which the royals could have been forced to relocate to various country houses to protect them from enemy forces. A cabinet office source told the Sunday Times, these emergency evacuation plans have been in existence since the Cold War but have now been repurposed in the event of civil disorder following a no-deal Brexit. Royal bombshell, why Prince Charles once asked shall I go gay? Prince Philip crashed, Duke of Edinburgh lucky to escape with warning Brexiteer Jacob Rees-Mogg has ridiculed the plan by describing it as a wartime fantasy. He said, the overexcited officials who have dreamt up this nonsense are clearly more students of fantasy than of history. The monarch's place is always in the capital, as the late Queen Mother, wife of George VI, made very clear during the Blitz. Read more, the Queen gives Meghan Markle and Harry Classy housewarming gift a source within the Secretariat, described the worst-case scenario which envisaged riots breaking out as shops ran out of basic supplies. The source claimed that the plan had been prioritized after Mr. Rees-Mogg called on Theresa May last month to demand the Queen to suspend Parliament to thwart efforts by Remainer MPs to delay Brexit. Mr. Rees-Mogg also accused the government of being behind the Queen's Brexit appeal when she asked the nation to seek out common ground that binds the country together. Royal backlash, how Queen and Philip were unimpressed with Harry and W. Royal fury, how Princess Margaret was shabbily treated he also argued that vestigial constitutional means could provide the necessary means to stop a no-deal Brexit being blocked altogether. The source said, as the Queen has been dragged into some of the politics around all this, it becomes more likely that she and her family could be targeted by protesters. A senior government source said, it is not project fear. There are dozens of contingency planners whose job is to envisage every possible eventuality. Read more, Queen forced to sleep on sofa in servants' quarters after Royal Row they would be negligent if they didn't include the royals in that, however far-fetched the scenario might seem. The original plans that were drawn up in 1962 following the Cuban Missile Crisis were named Operation Candid. The Cold War plans included dispersing members of the royal family to country houses across the country, where they would have been guarded by special militia called the Royal Duties Force. Royal Rift, how Charles and Diana hoped Harry would repair marriage royal shock, this is the reason Lady Gabriella Windsor will marry here, if tensions with Russia had escalated further then a Python system would have been deployed which would have moved senior royals to the floating bunker or the Royal Yacht Britannia. Another alternative included moving the Queen to the central government war headquarters at Corsham Court in Wiltshire. Mr. Rees-Mogg said, the apparent airlift of the Queen for the London Olympics in 2012 was a very good joke, not a serious Brexit-related blueprint to rerun the American departure from Saigon. Although these plans have been put in place, there is not guarantee that the Queen would leave London. During the World War II the royals refused to leave London. The Queen Mother said, the children won't go without me. I won't leave without the King. And the King will never leave.